the Boise State men's basketball team will tip off in their NCAA tournament matchup against Northwestern. Good competition there. This is the ninth time the Broncos have been to the big dance and the fourth under head coach Leon Rice. They got some experience. The Broncos enter the tournament a 10 seed too, the second highest they've ever been going into the double NCAA tournament. And tomorrow they're going to take on number seven Northwestern, the Wildcats in Sacramento, which is of course where we find our sports team. Jay Tust, Brady Frederick, live in California tonight. How are we doing, everybody? Yes, you know, a year ago on an NCAA tournament team, Bishop Kelly alumnus Max Rice was hardly a complimentary piece. This year, he might be the most important player for this Boise State men's basketball team. Absolutely. In press conferences this morning, Northwestern head coach Chris Collins cited him as one of the major threats, saying he watched that SDSU game and he knows at any time Max might be willing to drop 30 points. The Broncos this year are 0-5 when Max fails to make at least one three. That means they're 24-4 when he hits at least one. His NCAA tournament experience is unmatched, and because of it, you better believe he'll be ready for the big stage tomorrow. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. It's kind of surreal when you pause and think about it. At the time this one was taken, he was a little guy. Somewhere near the end of its synopsis, Max Rice, then just a kid, would make his grand entrance. Pretty special memories for me and my family. Max has been around Boise State men's basketball since he was nine. Back then, he was never the center of the photo. His story was evolving on the outskirts. Some of those players on that team I, I looked up to and wanted to be like when I was older. It probably propelled me to the player I am today, just uh, watching those guys and seeing what they did. When the Broncos qualified for the NCAA tournament in 2013, he was there. When they returned to the tourney two years later, again, he had a front row seat that could only be described as a real life fairy tale. I remember those days like when just seeing Boise State's name being called and those are some of my best memories just growing up seeing that happen. Fast forward almost a decade, Max has gone from watching legends to scripting his own. Being around this program for my whole life, um, it's pretty surreal to, to be living this. Backdoor cut to Rice. Rice with the layup. He's the team leader in minutes played and three-pointers made. Rice behind a Milner screen. Rice with another three. And no Broncos scored more points in Mountain West play this season than Max. From childhood dreams. It's an amazing opportunity. To grown man milestones. Having the chance to go to the NCAA tournament and being in a good 7-10 game that you have a chance of winning. It's safe to say that Boise State is now maximizing its potential. Thanks to a kid that has become the center of attention for the Broncos. To be a part of it and to get the chance to go play in the tournament again is, is an amazing experience. And after it happens, when I'm looking back on it, it'll, it'll be really, really cool to look back on. Um, just now in the moment, I'm just super focused with my guys and I'm excited to get out there and, and play. It's super surreal to be a part of this. We spoke with Tyson Dagenhart today. He told us that when Max Rice is making shots, he opens up the offense for everybody. As we send it back to Boise, Brian and Morgan, there is a reason why I keep 54,945 photos on my phone. I never delete anything. At a moment's notice, I can prove that I have covered every single Leon Rice NCAA tournament yes. trip. And I can also recall when his uh, now grown men were just boys yeah. watching as spectators uh, during March Madness. Jay Tuss playing a little extra, oh, paying a little so extra cute. to keep some photos up in the cloud <laughs> yes. right now. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Jay.